So it's the turn of the M3 E46 to finally get customised by me. I'm sorry to keep you waiting on this one guys, but yeah, <laughs> I'm finally got around to it and I'm glad I am doing. So yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic in this red. Now we won't be changing any engines in it because the engine in it right now is pretty damn sweet. It's already rear wheel drive so we don't need to worry about that. However, the aspiration, we might be actually supercharging this thing now. I know it might be a wee bit more normal to turbocharge a BMW, but I thought I may as well go a little bit different and put a supercharger on it. It's going to be kind of fun. So, I actually thought there was a Liberty Walk body kit for this, but it's actually a Rocket Bunny, which suits this thing down to a T. I really like what they've done. Maybe if the arches were a wee bit more curvy, then that would be okay, rather than kind of angular and everything, but it suits this car brilliantly. I love the way it looks with the kit on it. So, one thing we won't be doing is fitting the Rocket Bunny spoiler, because I'm not a fan. I am not a fan of that, neither, neither am I a fan of that, that looks disgusting. I do quite like the look that that gives, like the GTR spoiler, but at the same time I think we're going to be leaving this thing completely stock in terms of the wing. I don't know why, but I just like it with the stock actual back end, as I want to say. So yeah, tyres, the Sport's actually done pretty damn well in the last build of the 240SX, so we're going to go for them. Let's go with two 75s in the front, not as wide as the ones on the 240. 295s, we're going to stick with that, because anything over 300 is kind of big, if you know what I mean. So, And another thing we will be sticking with is the standard BMW rims, because these have got to be my favourite set of BMW rims ever made. I really like how they look, but I don't know what it's going to be like if you put up to 20s. They're a tad too big for me, I don't really like the size of that, but... It'll look a lot better once we slam the suspension. But anyway, into the drivetrain. Put everything on max as we normally do. But yeah, how you guys been? Anyway, I've been doing okay. I actually have just come back from a walk. I've got a new route that I'm doing around my town and everything. Just when videos are rendering and stuff like that, I thought, may as well get out of the office. Try and get a wee bit more fit. So, i just done one of them. But yeah, oh my god. That is the definition of slammed, man. Holy shit. That is touching the fenders. Oh my god, it does look good, though. <laughs> Maybe if we space the back out a wee bit, if we can. Highly doubt we could, considering the fact that we'd probably be touching the actual arch. But, yeah, just try to keep a wee bit more fit now, guys. Um, it's just because um, I'm, I'm obviously in a relationship and everything like that, and I want to get a wee bit more fit. And stuff like that, so I think we'll leave the roll cage. Uh, but yeah, is that a problem for you guys? Um, I'm probably talking to like the older people here um, on the channel, but is that a problem for you guys? Does your partner complain about your weight or anything? I mean, my partner doesn't. My partner doesn't complain about my weight, uh, but you know what I mean. I just want to get a little bit more healthy overall. So we've got 387 horsepower pumping out right now. I think maximum I'm going to put in this thing is 550. I'm not going to take it as wild as the the 240SX. I'm going to do 550 maximum, I think. 538. Hmm, let's see, what can we get? 549 or 556. We'll go for that then. 556, run about the same power as... It's modern day M5, I should say, the BMW M5 F10. I think that's got 552 horsepower, which is pretty damn bonkers. So yeah, that is the general build of that car. What I'm going to do now is go into the paint and actually apply a little special sticker. So there we go, I've applied the little EK sticker. Now if you do want to find it, then it is on the actual storefront. I think the name is just EK Drifter 458 in low caps, I believe. So, yet again, shout out to the guy that done it. I just like putting it on the left side of the cars because it's just like a little watermark, if you know what I mean, to show like it's actually my build. So, there we go, that's that on it now. now in terms of the tuning, I am roughly not that fussed because this is a cruise build. So, yeah, it's the sort of car I would like to take to a car show rather than going drifting because. Just the actual stance of this thing, I can highly doubt you could take it drifting in real life. Obviously, you can do it in Forza, but 
I don't know. We're sitting at 211 miles an hour right now. I don't know if we're going to get any faster than that. I highly, highly doubt it. But we shall see. We'll put it up to four and see if it does. But I don't think so. I really, really don't think so. 212 we are, actually. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. I don't think we're going to get any faster. Uh, in terms of the front camber, I don't think we're really going to put any camber on this. If you know what I mean? Because for my cruise builds, I like to leave the tune relatively stock. But we'll stiffen up the anti-roll bars at the rear as well. Springs. Oh my god, the front's up a wee bit. Okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, and I think that's us good to go, guys. Honestly, one of the quickest tunes. But yet again, that happens for the cruise builds. And that looks absolutely perfect a mundo. The tint on the windows. The paint job and this light. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. I'm really glad I didn't add the spoiler now. <laughs> Oh man, I could look at this thing all day, but anyway, see how it sounds. Oh man, I mean I thought the, the car that I drove yesterday, what was it again? The 2017 Ford GT, I thought that had good overruns, but bloody hell. Oh, it sounds like it's melting, and I like it. I really like it, so I'm going to keep in mind it's a cruise build, so I'm going to try and drive relatively normally, but at the same time, if I do have the opportunity, I'm going to drive like an absolute nut job. Yes, I think the sticker actually looks relatively nice sitting at that side, because it's not in the way, it's not like bang right in your face or anything like that, it's just a cool little thing that I know is there. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't think I've heard anything better than that in terms of the overrun. Oh, not even the F-Type comes that close, man. Seriously? They didn't really program that much of an overrun for the F-Type in Forza Horizon 3, which is a bit shocking. Considering it's one of the best cars when it actually does blooming overrun. Don't turn in for it, Jesus Christ. Scared the living daylights out of me, man. See if we can get by the little lotus there. God, what is it with cars trying to turn in the middle of the day, man? Holy shit, I'm only trying to drive my BMW. Oh wait, it's because I'm in a BMW. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. I mean, the amount of BMW driver compilations that I've seen is crazy. Seriously, Lexus, did you not even see me, mate? Now, in terms of my favourite M3, this probably has to be up there because I think it's on nearly everyone's top three list. I know a lot of people like the E30, a lot of people like the E92, but this, oh shit, this has kind of like the styling that I'm looking for as the handling and it has certainly the noise that I love as well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so good. So freaking good, man. But yeah, that's quite a good question for you guys. What is your favorite generation of the BMW M3? Because this is probably mine. And no, it's not down to most wanted or anything like that. Although I do like that game. It's just a just a great car overall. There we go, setting gear. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ, back ends want to break loose a wee bit. It's not a drift build, Frank. Keep that in mind. It's not a drift build. Car, BMW, I know you want to get sideways, but please don't. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why it's posh, it should be German. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't like Mondays. But this red just pops in the sunshine, man. I mean, this is a standard manufacturer colour. I was going to make it like a maroon red, but... God damn. This is so nice. But we're heading up into the rainforest. Let's see how it handles these roads, because these are my favourite roads to test out the handling. Oh! <laughs> Sorry if I'm too giddy about the noise. It's just too good. It's just too good. It's like freaking chocolate melting and popping candy mixed together. It's like the best thing ever. But I was expecting the steering to be a little bit more direct because it kind of takes its time compared to some other BMWs that I've driven in the past. So it feels like you really need to turn it in like properly where the other ones are kind of like, boof, there you go into a corner. I'm not saying that's bad, but yeah, it's actually kind of good. If you know what I mean, it's kind of different, if you know what I mean. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, break, 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 break. 
They are very good as well, even though we weren't going that quickly there, they're pretty, pretty good. This is the song of my people! Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was waiting for it to pop. I was waiting for it to pop! Bloody Subaru, man! Honestly, if I had the money, I'd go out and buy one of these things today. It's super, super cool. I don't know if it'd be in this red, though. Maybe like a silver or like a dark blue. Because it looks good in them. It looks very good in them colours. But I ain't complaining about this one. But if you want to leave your suggestions for any other cars, then please do let me know down below, guys. That'd be great. I'm trying to get through like the wide body ones right now, as you can probably tell. Oh my god, yes. The throttle response is fucking instant, man. So good. So good. And thanks to that supercharger as well, we have that extra freaking oomph at the corners. Come on, baby. Now, I wish we could hear the supercharger a wee bit more, but we can't really. Oh, here we go. Break, 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 break. I just wanted to put my foot down a little bit there, guys. It's just so tempting. Seriously. When I say cruise build, I mean non-drift build. <laughs> That's it. Holy crap, doesn't give a shit about the speed, but you know what I mean. Excuse me, BMW driver coming through. Let me overtake you. <laughs> I mean, I've got a story about a fucking BMW driver which cut me mum off. Me, 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 my mum off the other week. Uh, I think it was the other month, actually. Um, we were getting into Glasgow, and there's a dual carriageway in the town that I live in, and the guy basically goes from the fast lane, then into the, the other lane, and then right off the junction, cutting right across me and my mum. It's like three fucking lanes, so... Yeah, you can imagine our faces, we weren't exactly fucking pleased. I think he was driving an E36. But goddamn. <laughs> Seriously, I kinda shot myself. It just came out of nowhere, I was like, BOFF! I'm like, you bastard. You bloody bastard, don't do that to me again. But my overall impressions of my cruise BMW M3, it's spectacular. Honestly, if you haven't built one of these things, guys, uh, for cruising, I should say, because I know a lot of people use these for drifting, uh, I kind of want to be a wee bit different and use it for cruising. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely build one for cruising. If you want to go to like car meets in the game, then it is a very, very showy car indeed. If you do a wee bit more options, like a spoiler and everything, but you know me, I like to keep it clean. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, then a like would always help out. It does help the channel and also subscribe to the channel if you are brand new but for me and the bmw we shall see you in my next video bye bye and what a shot that is man that might need to be thumbnail material right there so pretty bye guys